Hello chaps, it's Ian and today we've got a mini review for Kuga Operation Co Vapor Trail. So this is a 1991 Mega Drive game that came out in Japan and it also got a Genesis release um, as Vapor Trail. It's a vertical shooter as you can see and it's based upon a 1989 date released arcade game which got two further sequels, uh, Wolf Fang and also Skull Fang. Both of those games follow the story of Vapor Trail which is essentially a terrorist group have occupied New York and they're basing a worldwide attack from there and you're sent in to put things right. As you can see it's a two player co-op game and it's one of the few ones on the Mega Drive and my favourite one of them being Forgotten Wills which is an absolute true classic. Now this is a game that I didn't play back in the day um, and I picked this up in New York um, from the Video Games New York store back in December last year. So I'm playing this one with my brother and I'm the Blue Jet and he is the Green Jet. Now there's a bit of friendly competition going on he thought he did better because he used fewer lives. I thought I did better because I got a higher score. So I'll leave uh, it for you guys to decide. So the controls of the game, very simple. A is a single shot, um, B is your rapid fire, and C activates your shield, um, which we didn't quite um, get to grips with during this gameplay. Uh, but when you press C, your shield comes on, and you've got a certain time that you can use it um, before it, um, the, the bar runs down. And then it's got to replenish before you can use it again. So it takes three hits before you lose a life, and you can see from the options menu, you start the game with three lives, but you can change that to five. Like most shooters, you can pick up power-ups, which change your weapons, uh, some of them quite interesting, and you can also pick up bombs. You also get a choice of jets when you start the game, so some of them with better weapons but slower speed, and then conversely, some of them much faster but with worse weapons. There's six levels in total, and it starts off relatively easy, you know, like at least a lot of shooters do, and then does get quite tricky later on. Time to summarise the game, and for me there's kind of a few standout points for this. I think the two player co-op is a big plus, you know it's much more, more fun where you're playing with someone else, um, and I only wish there was kind of more games like that on Mega Drive. Um, I also like um, the look and feel of the game, um, the this, this, this setting in New York I think was great, there's a couple of um, times where I recognise things, um, at one point you can see kind of the, the Chrysler building in the background, um, and I really like the, uh, the level design as well. I think they've done that quite well. Um, another big plus point is the, the audio. Um, it's got a fantastic soundtrack, like many, many shooters in the Mega Drive have, um, but this one's got some really standout tunes, um, and there's definitely some fa fantastic work there. There's also quite a bit of sample speech in. Now this is probably gonna prove a bit controversial, so I know some people 
I'll hear a speech and miss and think, you know, it's terrible, it's not very clear, etc. And, and to be fair, you know, yeah, they're probably correct, it, it isn't very clear. However, um, this type of speech on the Mega Drive for me, it just adds a lot of character. Um, I kind of grew up with it, you know, um, as a kid, and I just think it adds character to the game. And, and the Mega Drive was capable of doing clear speech, because it had games like All Out Beast, um, which has some, you know, crystal clear samples in. But obviously it was all down to the limitations um, of the, the megabit size for the cartridges. So, you know, games, game developers had to kind of bear that in mind. Overall though, I would definitely say if you haven't got a new collection, it's worth getting. You know, it's got a, got a lot of things going for it, like the two-player quad and other things I've mentioned. So yeah, definitely hunt it down if you can. We'll leave it there, chaps, and over and out.